Hi guys, and welcome to another 10 Minute Teach with Mr. A. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at multiplying a four digit number by a two digit number. So I've got a couple of examples that I'm gonna talk you through, and then a few that you can do at home, and let me know how you get on in the comments below. Right then, so let's jump straight into it. So if I'm multiplying a number, another word for that, and multiplication, is finding the product. So this first one, I'm going to find the product of 3,405 multiplied by two. So let's give it a go first of all. So two times five, so it's just a units number, is 10. So I'm going to put down my units and carry my 10 over. Okay, so I've got zero times two, and if I've got no lots of two, then I have none of it. And then I've got my 10 to put in there, so we can't forget that one. And then I've got 400, or four times two, because it's in the, in the hundreds column. So I have 400, two lots of four hundreds are 800. And then I have 3,000 multiplied by two as well, which makes 6,000. There we go. So the answer to 3,405 multiplied by two is 6,810. Right, let's have a little go at B here. So again, I've put my place value headings in just to make it nice and easy. So let's start off over at the unit side again. So six eights are 48. So I'll put my units down and I carry my tens over and I've got no lots of six again which is zero. And I've got my four tens to add on there. So I've got 48 so far. So six multiplied by six is a square number. So six sixes are 36. So it's 600 times six for 3,600. So I'm going to put my 600 and carry my 3,000. Okay, so now I've got 4,000 multiplied by six. So four times six is 24. That would be 24,000, but I've got 3,000 to add on there. So for 27,000. So getting to quite large numbers there. So the answer to 4,608 multiplied by six is 27,648. And I always find it helps. It's really good practice to say those numbers every time you get the answer as well. Okay, so let's have a little look at C. So we've got 6,297 multiplied by four. So let's start over at our units column then. So four times seven or seven times four is 28. So if I put my units in, carry my 10. Nine times four is 36, or here it's 360 because actually we've got 90 times four. So 360, add another 20 is 38, so 380, we pop that in there. 200 times four, or two times four is eight, so that will actually be 800, because it's in our hundreds column. 900, 1000, 1100. So I can put my 100 in my hundreds column and carry over my 1000 to my thousands column. Okay, six times four here is 24. Four, hmm, 24,000 actually, because it's in the thousands column. So 24,000, add another 5,000 is 25,000. So the answer to 6,297 multiplied by four is 25,188. Right, I have one more that we're gonna have a little go at now as well. So let's start over the units again. So I've got zero lots of seven. I have absolutely nothing there, so I can put my zero straight in there with nothing at all to carry. So seven times five is 35, or 50 times seven is 350. So let's carry that 100 over to the hundreds column, so 350. Right, so let's have a look then. So, so far, I've got my 350. Okay, so seven eights, well, let's have a think. So if we were struggling at this point, you could use one of my multiplication songs. So let's have a little go at that. So seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 
Ooh, so eight sevens are 56. Okay, so 56 of 5,600 that'll actually be. So let's have a look. I've got another 300 to add on there. So actually that's 5,900. So I can put my 900 in there, carry over my five as well. And again, I've got eight times seven, which we already know is 56, but actually, because that's 8,000 times seven, it'll be 56,000, but I've got to add another 5,000. So that will be 61,000, really big numbers now. So the answer to 8,850 multiplied by seven is 61,950. Okay, you guys, I really hope that that's helped you out at home. Please let me know in the comments below how you get on with these little examples. And if you've got any that you want me to work out for you as well, I will certainly give it a go. Okay, thank you very much for tuning in today. And until next time, 